Congratulations on your purchase of the UR22 Mark II Premium Audio Interface from Steinberg. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the UR22 interface with your iPad and show you how to set up Cubasis LE to work with your new interface. We will also cover recording a song using the included Cubasis LE application. Included in the box is the UR22 Mark II interface, a USB cable, the user manual and CD, as well as your download access code for Cubase AI. You will also receive instructions on how to download Cubasis LE for your iPad. After you have downloaded and installed Cubasis LE, go ahead and launch the application. When you first launch Cubasis LE, it will be running in demo mode. This allows you to check out the application, but certain functions will be disabled. In order to take Cubasis LE out of demo mode, you need to connect a compatible audio interface to your iPad. Start by connecting the USB cable to your interface. Next, connect your interface to the iPad via a camera connection kit or a lightning to USB adapter. Connect the audio interface to a USB power adapter and switch the power source. Next time you launch Cubasis LE, a dialog will appear letting you know that Cubasis LE has been unlocked. You will now have access to the feature set of Cubasis LE. Let's set up our audio interface. Tap the Setup button, then the Audio tab, and ensure that your audio device is listed. Once complete, let's start a new project. Tap the Media button, then choose the Create Project with MIDI and Audio Track template. I'm now going to give my project a new name. With my new project loaded, I'm going to change the instrument on my MIDI track by tapping the instrument icon. From the Microsonic interface, I'm going to select the drum instrument. I'm going to say yes when I'm asked if I want to reset the pad layout. After auditioning a few of the drum samples, this is the kit I'm happy with. Using my MIDI controller, I'm going to record a drum beat to this MIDI track. I'm now going to connect my guitar to input number 2 and connect my microphone to input number 1. If you're using a mic that requires 48 volt phantom power, you can turn this on at the rear of the interface. As I'm using a guitar on input number 2, I'll need to turn on the high Z switch and adjust the input level and make sure I'm avoiding any peaks. Now let's begin recording a guitar track. The first thing I need to do is click on Routing to make sure that I've selected input number 2 on my audio interface as that is the input that my guitar is connected to. I'll click on the Channel tab and select Input Monitoring so that I can hear my guitar and begin recording. I now want to record a vocal track, so I'll need to add a new audio track. Once created, click on the track's name and rename it Vocals. I will then once again click on the Routing tab to ensure that this input is set to Input 1 where my microphone is connected to. Again, I'm going to enable monitoring and begin recording. Another Let's record a bass guitar. Add another audio track, and this time, let's label it Bass Guitar. Once again, click on the routing tab and select the input that the bass is connected to, in this case, input number 2. Enable input monitoring and begin recording. Gotta 
And lastly, I'm going to add a new MIDI track to this project so I can record an organ. Tap on the instrument icon for the MIDI channel and select Organ from the Microsonic Instrument, and then begin recording using my MIDI controller. If you wish to import your Cubasis LE project into Cubase AI, you can use Steinberg's Cubase Project Importer, available on their website, to import your Cubasis project into Cubase AI. Once the Cubasis Project Importer is installed on your computer, connect your iPad and open up iTunes. Navigate to your iPad's device page and click the Apps tab. From the File Sharing section, click on the Cubasis LE app. Then click on the Projects folder, then click Save To. Select the local folder that you wish iTunes to copy the files to. Once the files have been copied to your computer, use the Cubasis Project Importer from Cubase AI to import the project as a Cubase AI project. The project will then play back as it did within Cubasis. Another Saturday night, I'm lying on the floor. Sometimes the world the next step will be to save the project as a Cubase AI project. So, we've covered the physical hardware setup as well as how to configure Cubase's LE with your iPad. We've covered how to set up and record both audio and MIDI tracks to make a song, as well as export the song for use with Cubase AI. You're now set up and ready to make your own music using the UR22 Mark II interface and Cubase SLE with your iPad. Have fun and thanks for watching.